Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I've got another Gilmore Girls video for you. In case you're new here, I make Gilmore Girls content every single Saturday and I've got a whole playlist full of videos relating to characters and builds from the show because at the minute I am in the middle of making a Gilmore Girls save file. So if you're interested, I'll link a playlist in the description and in the video somewhere and you can go check that out if you want. But today we are making three Sims from the show. We are making Paris, Tristan and Max and I'm super excited about this one because Paris is one of my all-time favourite characters from the show. She is so sassy, so rude and blunt and just doesn't care what people think at all and she just tells it how it is and if you couldn't tell by my channel name that is something I definitely appreciate and find at least entertaining in a person. So, so we love Paris. I've got a whole list of quotes, well my favourite Paris quotes from the show that I'm going to run through later on in the video but I thought I'd start by just talking about what aspects aspirations and traits I've given her so I gave her the scholar aspiration because I figured that throughout the show but particularly in the first seasons she's definitely obsessed with getting into Harvard and she prioritizes it over everything she's in a constant competition with Rory as to who performs best at school and therefore who's more likely to get into the best university and she ends up not getting into Harvard but Rory does and so that's like a massive tension between them and I figured that you know her academic studies is definitely a massive priority for her and also she ends up breaking up with Doyle her boyfriend in university because she wants to make a decision on what she does in terms of her postgrad education that is completely not influenced by being in a relationship whatsoever so I thought that was pretty hardcore and yeah shows that she's definitely a scholar first and foremost. In terms of her traits, what did I give her? I think perfectionist and hot-headed. Yeah, that basically makes sense, I think, because she definitely has a tendency to get herself worked up and angry and consequently maybe say some rude things to the people around her. So I've given her the hot-headed trait because of that, but also a perfectionist. Like I say, she's obsessed with being the best in school and in life. And she, I think in university, she has like several majors at once. I'm not quite sure how it works in American universities. Over here in the UK we only have one, maybe you have two subjects tied together but you decide what your subject is when you apply to university essentially so that doesn't change throughout the course of university whereas in America you're able to study more than one thing at once. I'm not quite sure. If, if you're American please feel free to comment and educate me down below but yeah she basically majors in law and medicine at the same time maybe other things as well I'm not sure but she's a bit of a powerhouse of a character she really is like I said I have put together a few of my favorite Paris quotes from the show so I'm gonna run through a few of them now and please comment down below any more that you think of or any of these that you particularly enjoy and I'm gonna save my favorite till last so I hope you enjoy that one so the first quote I wanted to share with you was so to give this quote context I think she was speed dating and she was talking to someone that was basically really not impressing her, I think. Correct me down below if I'm wrong. But the quote is, was the last time you had an interesting thought when you considered flinging yourself off a building? <laughs> Absolutely brutal. I'm, I'm, so, I'm really sorry if anyone is offended by some of these quotes as well. Please don't take them seriously. <laughs> The next one is a moment when she was sassing the principal of Chilton. I think her and Rory had been called into the office because they were arguing. I can't remember what they were doing, but they were fighting and they were being told off for it basically. But I think he accuses them of fighting over a boy. <laughs> she just talks under her breath and says of course we're girls so you must be fighting over a boy you sexist white haired and then gets cut off by the principal and that line just makes me laugh so much when she says it because she just has the audacity to sass the principal in front of him absolute gold oh and then this one is a great one again I can't remember the full context of this quote but I think she's talking to people at the Yale newspaper which in a couple of series she is in charge of so maybe she was giving a speech to some of the editors in the newspaper. I can't really remember the details of it, but she says, I am not your mother or a hugger. If you need some love, get a hooker. If you're having a bad day, find a ledge or a way to zeal. My door is not open to you ever. <laughs> And I absolutely love this quote. I think it's so amazing. It's so Paris. She just does not care about people's feelings whatsoever, but she's still somehow lovable. I don't know how, but she is. <laughs> 
And I love her, I really do. Another classic Paris one-liner is when she tells someone to tie their tubes for asking her whether it's raining or not because she's got wet hair. <laughs> But my all-time favourite Paris quote, prepare yourselves, when she's dating a professor at Yale and he's like really, really old, but he's he's really famous, he's a really famous professor for whatever reason, I don't know, he's probably just really good in his field, I can't remember, but she obviously really ex respects him and he ends up dying maybe of a heart attack. I think the context is that they were together when he died and Rory, her best friend, sort of assumes that maybe because he was really quite old and they were sleeping together that he ended up dying from a heart attack from being a bit overexcited <laughs> when they were being intimate. So Rory sort of asks her whether or not that was the case and she says, no, this great man was not brought down by my vagina and that line kills me every single time. I just burst out laughing. It's my all-time favourite Paris moment. I just love it. And then I wanted to share some other moments moments, not quotes so much as moments that, you know, Paris shows us how amazing she is. <laughs> One of my favourite moments with her is when she doesn't get into Harvard and or she gets the news that she doesn't get into Harvard, but she lost her virginity very recently after she finds out and she ends up going to a school debate, bearing in mind that it's a very prestigious school and there's loads of people there, like a massive audience, and she is there in her pyjamas. She's really upset that she didn't get into Harvard and she ends up basically announcing to the whole school in like this angry rant that she lost her virginity but she didn't get into Harvard. <laughs> and I just love her. She's just She just doesn't care what people think. She's just so, oh, bless her heart. That was a moment where you really, really feel sorry for Paris. Like even though she's a total weirdo, she's totally mad, but we love her. I also love when she kicks out Logan because Logan sort of cheats on Rory in the show and he sort of comes back to their apartment because Rory and Paris live together. He comes over and tries to win Rory over and she's obviously very upset with him and Paris is just like the ultimate best friend in that moment. She just totally shuts him down, just gives him all of the sass and kicks him out and is very protective over Rory and I think she's just so sweet. Although she's got so many flaws, she's obviously a very damaged human being but she still values her friendship with Rory so strongly and I think <laughs> she's such a sweetie deep, deep down. And then the other classic, classic Paris moment is when she has her meltdown at the Yale newspaper. I can't remember what it's called, sorry, I keep forgetting. She ends up making a little bunker building within the room that they work in the newspaper and she has like a little hot plate and she just goes mad. She's such a control freak and I mean, I can relate to this, but she ends up going a little bit crazy, just micromanaging every aspect of how this newspaper is run and she she takes on all of the work herself. She doesn't let anyone else do any work, basically. She locks herself in this bunker in this room and she just goes a bit mad and it's absolutely hilarious to watch. I think she's so funny. So let me know down below if you love Paris as much as me. She's absolutely amazing and I'm obsessed with her, as you can tell. But now let's talk about the boys that I'm creating in this video. So like I said, I also made Tristan and Max and for Tristan, I gave him the mischief aspiration, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but basically he's the bad boy at school. He likes to tease Rory and a lot of the girls and I think he gets into trouble a lot and he ends up getting forced to go to military school as a way of disciplining basically. So he, yeah, he's definitely a mischief maker. And I also gave him the traits romantic and self-assured because like I said, he's always flirting with Rory and all of the other girls. Like he knows that all the girls fancy him because he is a bit of a heartthrob in the series series and yeah he's definitely romantic definitely a good with the ladies but also very very confident with them as well so I thought those traits were fitting for him and I kind of like him and Rory together to be honest with you I low-key hoped that they would become an item he's quite mean to Dean in the show like he's basically there to stir up trouble between the perfect relationship that is Dean and Rory like Dean's this ultimate sweetie a little bit stupid, a little bit jealous and 
Tristan definitely takes advantage of that jealousy and he plays on it and I think him and Rory kiss and she doesn't tell Dean and he sort of makes the most of that and I think they play Romeo and Juliet in a play together and Dean gets jealous because you know they're acting all romantic in this play and they have to work on it in their spare time but to be honest with you Dean's a bit of a pathetic loser and <laughs> He so has it coming. I know I've said something similar maybe in the video when I created Dean, but I just have no sympathy for Dean. It's like, until you respect yourself, Dean, who is going to respect you? Because I certainly don't. So... <laughs> Tristan has my vote and I kind of felt for Tristan when he gets heartbroken at that party and I think that's when he then kisses Rory because they're both feeling kind of rejected because Rory's broken up with Dean at that point too and you just see that side of him where he's like maybe he is just this troubled boy he doesn't quite know what to do with his feelings he's a bit of a hopeless romantic in a way and you kind of hope that they'll get together but then Rory goes back to Dean and she cries in Tristan's face and it's a bit awkward so <laughs> So yes, oh, we, we love Tristan though. I feel like that actor was definitely very popular with girls in the noughties. I think he was in One Tree Hill as well. I remember seeing, I never watched it, but I always see the adverts on TV. So I know that he was quite popular at that time. <laughs> That's Tristan. And then Max is Lorelai's first official love interest in the show. And I gave him the nerd brain aspiration because he's a teacher. He's actually Rory's teacher at Chilton, which is quite bad of Lorelai to take one of Rory's teachers but we'll forgive her because we love her so yeah he is quite smart he's very intelligent very book smart he's an English teacher and I think he challenges Lorelai in terms of his intelligence I think they say they have a wordsmith thing going on that's the quote I think that they use and so that's why I gave him the nerd brain aspiration but I also gave him the traits romantic good and bookworm because I kind of consider him very similar to Dean in the fact that he is very good, you know, almost a perfect boyfriend, but he's just a bit lackluster. Like he's, you know, he's good, but he's not very interesting. <laughs> It doesn't really challenge Lorelai much. They're both good with words, I guess. I never really understood when they said that because yeah, he likes books and stuff, but he's not witty and he doesn't ever sort of give her that tension that Luke does, for example, or Chris does, where there's just constant banter back and forth. He's, he's very plain. <laughs> He's cute, I like him, but yeah, he's definitely plain. And I gave him romantic, I don't really know why. He's He is kind of romantic. I wouldn't say he's necessarily good with women. I think he's a bit pathetic with women, but you know, the whole proposal with the thousand yellow daisies was a really sweet idea and that was very romantic of him. So I gave him that. And then obviously bookworm because he loves books. Um, <laughs> But yeah, all around pretty boring character, to be honest. You can probably tell that I'm strictly team Jess and team Luke in the show. I <laughs> feel very strong with them. Although, to be fair, I do really like Chris. I really, really like that him and Lorelai together, I think. There's obviously something there, but it's not ever right. It's not ever who Lorelai is supposed to be with. There's so much chemistry between them, but it, it just doesn't feel right in the way that Luke is just Lorelai's rock in the show and you know they're just made for each other aren't they really they're just different enough and similar enough to make it work whereas Max is just boring <laughs> Sorry, Max. Sorry, Max lovers as well. He is sweet. I do love him, but yeah, not for me. Before I go, I'll also mention that I made sure to give Max lots of shoulder pads when I dressed him. Because I'm pretty sure throughout the show, he has like a million jackets with shoulder pads. Like that is definitely his style. So yeah, we're coming up to the end of the video now. So I'm going to head off. I hope you like listening to me talk about these characters. Like I said, Paris is one of my all time favorite characters. And if you remember any other amazing Paris quotes or quotes from any of the characters let me know down below I would love to hear them I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of the characters and your thoughts on the show as well like I said I make these videos every single Saturday so I hope to see you next week if you enjoyed it if you liked the video please like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye guys